Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of my bill, the Chesapeake Program Reauthorization Act. This bipartisan bill will reauthorize $455 million for the Chesapeake Bay program over the next five years. The Chesapeake Bay is one of our nation's greatest national treasures. It helps generate $33 billion in economic value annually and is home to spectacular natural beauty and ecological diversity. The EPA's Chesapeake Bay program coordinates regional conservation efforts, but Congress has not reauthorized this critical program since 2005. Thanks to innovative partnerships between local, state, and federal agencies and NGOs, the health of the Bay has improved in recent years. But this progress is fragile, and unless Congress acts, we risk losing these gains. In 2014, all states within the Chesapeake Bay Watershed and the District of Columbia signed the Chesapeake Bay Watershed Agreement. This partnership committed these states to work together and with the EPA to put in place all the necessary conservation practices by 2025. Part of this agreement includes setting a limit called the Total Maximum Daily Load, or TMDL, on pollution from chemicals like nitrogen and phosphorus. The EPA's Chesapeake Bay program supports the works of states in meeting their commitments under this agreement. Funding for the Bay program goes directly to localities to improve local conservation efforts. By passing the Chesapeake Bay Program Reauthorization Act, Congress will reaffirm that all states in the watershed and the EPA must work together to achieve these restoration goals. This includes ensuring that all states have plans in place to comply with the TMDL and all other necessary conservation goals. I want to thank my friends and colleagues on both sides of the aisle, Congressman Bobby Scott, Congressman Rob Whitman, and Congressman John Sarbanes for working with me to achieve this bipartisan victory for the Bay. I also thank Chairwoman Napolitano and Ranking Member Westerman for their support in bringing this bill to the floor. I urge my colleagues to support this critical bill, and I yield back. Thank you.